Lovely lady. Yes, she's, lovely. she's 22 years old. She's Good five foot four inches tall. She measures in at 34, 28, 34. Yeah, yeah. She comes from Bournemouth. Indoors. It's a lovely place. I recommend going there for your summer holly bobs and having a light fish supper. <laughs> um, she's called Sunny Moran. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Sunny. Hello. Hey, why are you called Sunny? My dad named me after a song. Which song? Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. Who sung it? Um, there's been a version by Bernie Emmer quite recently. Ah, oh, OK. No, I haven't heard it. Um, yeah, quite recently. Well, uh, right, what is your... First of all, who do you support? Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. OK, what is your job? Um, I'm a student. Tax dodger! <laughs> Parasite <laughs> on society. What are you studying? Public relations. PR? Yeah. Blonde does PR shock. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Where are you studying that? Bournemouth University. Bournemouth. And what do you want to do when you grow up? And when I grow up, I'm going to work for Gucci. Gucci? That's amazing, that. Because I, no, I did work experience for Gucci once. Oh, I used to... Yeah. 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 Oh, I did. I did work experience for Gucci. I used to oil his bathroom and tease his moustache. <laughs> Graham Gooch, you see. Gooch. Okay. Uh, what is your marital status? Single. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! And do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh. Yeah! We're in. We're in. And what's your interesting fact? I used to play rugby. Did you really? That is amazing. You, you played rugby? Well, that is amazing. I went out with a girl who played rugby once. And, uh, yeah! Yeah! Yes, I did. Yes, I did. She was a bit of a minger, but I still went out with her. Anyway, um, she played rugby, and um, and it was amazing actually because uh, I went to play with her, and uh, at rugby. <laughs> I, went play, I, I went in the. It was just a, it was just a sevens, and uh, I went on the opposing team. And I was standing there, and she was quite good, you know. She ran up, and she was. I was facing her, and she was coming hurtling at me, and she faked one way, and she faked the other, went past me, a try. And I'll tell you what, I thought. It's not the first time I've been done by the, with a girl with a couple of fakes. Anyway, she was uh, great at lying out. She used to get on my underwear in one go. Hey! Okay, right. <laughs> Sunny, please show the viewers what they can win our game. World Cup 2002. <laughs> I'll tell you what, great jellies. <laughs> Not you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready to catwalk with me? OK, good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, no. Cue the music, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. As you can see, uh, Sunny here is a, uh, a pro. I'm a pro. Guys are amateurs. Could you pick uh, a Derby fan to uh, catwalk with us? Yeah. Okay. Okay.
I'm better. You made me feel better now. We thought we could do something. Score, boy, error! What? Talk to the duck. Talk to the duck. All right. Stop it. Right, if you'd like to take a seat now, please. Lovely Sunny. Gosh, what long arms she's got. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you do want to be a soccer and soccer at like Sonny, you need to send us a photo, a letter uh, with your phone number on it. There's only a few weeks left of the season. What? About six? Yeah. Six, seven weeks left, so get writing and phoning and things now. Uh, PO Box 7 is worth 16 5 qq Picture, phone number, that's what you need. Right, now, um, lucky blooming Liverpool, eh? Uh, lucky Injury. No, you were what? <laughs> We no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Go on. Got up a key. Go on. Go on, darling. I say that mummy's a little soldier. Oh, bless him. I said it. I did it, didn't I? I did it. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> mummy's arms. King's arms. Right. <laughs> in in injury time at Anfield's right, and uh, um, ruined my weekend. 90, 91st minute goal, I can tell you that, uh, that the Colonel did not come out. He did not. <laughs> I said he did not. The Colonel did not make an appearance that night, so I'd better get him out now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you do anything else, Ginger? Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah. Anybody loves you. I tell you, this week, the goings on in the TV industry this week. Oh, it's blimey. all changed. Yeah. Yeah. It's come to the end of an era, and even the monkey couldn't save it. Still, I'm sure Richard Baker will find himself another job <laughs> in <ain't> that time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very upset about the demise of the Big Breakfast. Must say, I love Joy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love that yeah. show. See, the good thing about the Big Breakfast is yeah. if you miss Soccer Air on the Saturday, yeah. you could guarantee you'd find the gags repeated on Big Breakfast the following <laughs> week. <laughs> so it was marvellous. Anyway, I'll tell you what's going on today, I'm Joy. I'm a big fan of the boat race. <laughs> The boat 16 race. men on the boat race, oh, Oxford yeah. and Cambridge, Putney to Mortlake, all the tradition. Yeah. Love the race, love Bit of a two-horse race. Oh, definitely a two-horse race. Not three bad. I love, I love the whole of the race, but the thing is, Ginger particularly likes the end of the race. Why? Because he says that's when they, uh, they get the little cocks out and dump them in the River Thames. <laughs> Fantastic, apparently, eh, Ginger? <laughs> he a big fan of the boat uh, race. Uh, anyway, we're off now. We're not doing very well our punchlines, are we, today? I Either thought that punchline was marvellous. Oh, no. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're off now. The lashes of ginger beer and top square. Come, ginger. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Now, uh, uh, what a great start by Everton yesterday against Newcastle. But unfortunately, it didn't last as they ended up getting whooped 6 2. <laughs> what could be behind the doors? <laughs> oh, look, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's some Neanderthals. Well, of course we're Neanderthals. What are you? I'm a homo sapien. Oh, back to the wall, boys! <laughs> Oh, I didn't say I was a vegetarian. Oh, he's all right. He's all right, then. All right. Oh. OK. Oh. Look, look, look. Look. Look, 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 look. Look, look, What's wrong with him? Well, you know what these teenagers are like these days. He's got an egg problem. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will you shut him up for me, please? Doing it. <laughs> That's fine. Well, why, 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 is, why isn't he at a school? Well, he came home early. He had a double history lesson, but he said there was nothing to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Who's she? Oh, that's my wife. It's my wife, Sharon Stone. I know she's not much to look at. <laughs> But she's great around the cave, she scrubs up really well, and she keeps her fur in great condition. Yeah. <laughs> Good. He's hugging again. <laughs> Can't wait to be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you <blast it. laughs> 
<laughs> Doing good in the long run. <laughs> 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 have, a look. have a look, yeah. Have a look. <laughs> Don't get out of character. Stay in character. <laughs> Haven't I seen you? Uh, have I seen you on TV? Yeah, we did that documentary, Walking with Beasts. <laughs> what was that? The one with the dinosaurs? No, it was about a night out with Jordan and Tracy Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Try and keep up. <laughs> How do you name dinosaurs? Well, it all comes after the first person who sees them. Oh, you really? <clears throat> you got that Mark Boland. He was the first to see the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, T Rex, yeah. You got that famous writer Charlotte Bronte. She was the first to see the Bronte Saurus. Yeah. And then the next one, the last one to be invented, was actually seen by Graham Norton. Oh, <laughs> what did he call it? The Norton Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> The Norton Saurus. Okay, good. Um, well, well, hey, I tell you, where'd you get where'd you get those weapons from? Funny, you should say. Sorry, that. he's hugging again. Oh, you! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's it. He's had his beaten. <laughs> My weapons. Funny, you should say that. Because a beautiful young. She started hugging now. <laughs> <laughs> No, your police. <laughs> Speaking of weapons, a beautiful young girl came out of my cave today, name of Brittany. Oh, really? Trying to sell me something, yeah. Long bits of wood oh. with little bits of flint on the top. All oh, right. Yeah, I, I said, look, let me try them before I buy them. Yeah. But apparently, no one's allowed to go on Brittany Spears. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 You can't do that, Gag. It's not very BC. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I can't wait till they invent beds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That was an ad lib as well. <laughs> We're going out clubbing in Russia. Yeah. So Moscow. Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's caved in. Now, um, if you want to win this uh, T-shirt uh, in the competition, World Cup 2002, what you need to do now is uh, phone this number. It's 0902 444 579. 0902 444 579. Back to Helen.